Hello everyone, uh, we are back on to um, the SD sign computer then um, Chosen or Dalsian uh, Kubili Yeah, uh, I did unboxing already so I'm not going to go into detail Here is Kubili, uh, that is completely assembled but uh, without the sticker sheet which is here I will have to use a little bit of it because um, the eyes I don't think I can draw the eyes The Everything else I can paint it on Yeah, things like um, Fan, some of detail, yeah, etc. etc. Yeah, should be alright. So, what do I think about her? Well, it's very, actually very interesting. Um, first of all, the kit has no uh, no removable armor because, uh, well, just like um, Song, um, Song Shogun, so oh, I can't remember her name now. Yeah, the other um, SD kit of a female character, um, she has no removable armor. Probably is a good choice because people will start suggesting various things. But uh, yeah, she got lovely long hair, which is surprisingly glossy. So no armor, but all of these are movable stuff. Yeah. Uh, one thing that is actually very odd: um, her chest is uh, in a different color to everything that is supposed to be on that chest. If you look at um, this picture here. Her chest is supposed to be either blue, light blue, um, the same shade of red and pink as up here, and a bit of, and a little bit of the light pink. And in here is completely in gold. That's because um, the A plate for the kit is already filled up with three different colors: the um, the strong, stronger pink, um, the gold for this piece, and the black. So the A plate has effectively one of color to actually uh, print it on so they have to make the chest with one thing or the other so they decided to choose the gold uh, oh um, shoulder shoulder is quite interesting as you can see that um, there is two of this piece and two of this piece to form the front and the back and uh, by by looking at it right now um, it doesn't look like it's actually um, balanced yeah deliberate it looks pretty cool um, articulation is, is about the same as normal except for the head because um, the hair piece it means that she can actually turn her head left and right quite a lot up and down a little bit um, the waist is there and can do a reasonable amount of twist um, the arm is the same as more of, most of the other standard um, SD kit uh, the hand can go out it can twist because they're just ball joints and so is the hand which can will go in and out front of front and back a little bit and rotate um, the leg is the same as the others and so is the feet so articulation is not too bad besides for oops oh by the way I deliberately cut some of the um, some of the uh, packs off so that it's easier for me to take it apart for painting so yeah that's basically it for the kit itself um, weapons is a pair of fan there's a pack on there so they can actually so she can hold it and she hold it by packing it in yeah just like that it's pretty well detailed plenty of detail for people who like to uh, paint stuff so what is also quite interesting about um, the character Daoshan or Chosen depending on which language you decide to uh, use the translation from is her fate um, in the cartoon she died along with um, well, Ryufu or Lobu um, in the actual historical records she does not exist people still people most mostly believe that she does not exist it's more of the, um, the novelization decided to actually put something in there to actually Give it more dramatic end. Um, the novel itself, I think, she after she escaped, um, she goes around, and at the end, she got executed by um, by someone because um, her action is quite. Yeah, it's actually quite devious, where she used herself as a as a way to drive an ed wedge between um, uh, between Totoku and Lubu to actually get them killing each other 
But、uh, another、uh, saying that how should end a little bit more、um, a little bit more、uh, forgiving is that after Lubu is dead, she gone away and become a nun, which is quite interesting because、uh, while I was playing around with this kid, I realized they decided to mold her head pretty well. Very well to the point that if you take that off, she looks a bit like a nun with、um, a a Buddhist monk with a cape over her. I'm not sure whether this is intentional or not. In fact, that those two little holes look like、um, those two little dots that sometimes.、Um, A Buddhist monk will actually put on their head as a as a medit. I think it's a meditation point, somewhere to、uh, for them to actually focus when they when they meditate. Yeah, that's an interesting little tidbit. I'm not quite sure whether it's intentional or not, but、uh, it's cool nonetheless. So yeah, next thing you will know,、um, she will be painted, and see you in a bit. <laughs>